Hello and welcome to an Envato Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi Pordila and in today's video I'm going to show you how to morph SVGs using a service called Shapeshifter. Now you can find Shapeshifter at the address shapeshifter.design and we're presented with a very simple interface. Now before I show you how to transform a hamburger menu icon into a close icon, uh, let's have a look at some demos offered by the guys at Shapeshifter. So if you go to file down here, you go to demo, you have a selection of five demos you can uh, watch and play around with. So let's take the first one, play to pause. Here's a preview, All right? So this is basically happening. You can also watch it in slow motion. This is a very handy feature. So. You can see the exact process of morphing between the two SVGs. And down here you have a list of layers, groups, and on the right side you have a timeline. So currently the timeline is 300 milliseconds, but you can change its uh, duration right here and also its title. Now if we take a look in the um, panel on the left here, you will see that we have basically two things going on. First of all, we have a rotation and you can click on the individual timeline entry to check out its properties. So currently the rotation is happening over 300 milliseconds and it has an easing of fast out, slow in. Also its value goes from zero to 90. And the uh, second thing that's going on is a path data. Basically it transforms one path to another. And this is how it's achieved basically. If we um, click this little icon here, we can see the exact process going on. So you can see the points from the original image and the, point, the corresponding points in the resulting image, right? So here we have two things going on. One is a rotation and two is a path data. So first we're transforming the original path into this one and then we're rotating it. That's pretty cool. So let's take a look at another demo, for example morphing animals. Let's uh, hit play. Yeah, so now here we have three stages in the morphing process. We're going from a hippo to an elephant to probably a buffalo that is. So here you can see we're transforming the path data once, twice, and a third time, and also the fill color. So if we're gonna edit these, yeah, you can see the, the first path data transformation. We go from this shape to this shape. Let's watch it in slow motion. There we go. And then we go from that to the buffalo and then back to the uh, back to the hippo. So all in all pretty cool. Uh, let me show you how to create your own morphing SVGs. Uh, let's go to file new and in here I'm just gonna hit import SVG and I'm gonna select a menu SVG from my hard drive. Now currently nothing is happening basically because we don't have, uh, we didn't add any kind of animation but we do have this path, right? Uh, we have the fill color which we can edit, of course. We can edit a few more properties here. Uh, but what we're interested in is this path data. This is what we need to morph into something else. In our case, uh, a close icon. And uh, the close icon looks something like this. I'm gonna import it, right? And I have path one. So what I'm gonna do is simply copy this path data and I'm gonna delete this path one right here. And when I select path one, I'm simply going to click this animate this layer. I'm going to select path data and I'm going to go from the original value to the value that I just copied. So I'm going to paste that in. It's going to tell me that paths are incompatible. Basically that means that the paths uh, have a different number of points. And in order to morph one SVG into another, you need paths with the same amount of points. Now, Shapeshifter offers us the ability to auto fix this. Instead of adding those points ourselves, 
So I'm gonna hit the auto fix button. And now we have a nice animation. Let's bring this further in. Let's make it over 500 milliseconds. And let's also change the uh, timeline duration to 500, right? So now you can see how that animation is taking place. So if we watch it in slow motion, yeah, that's pretty cool. Now you can play around with this. You can um, maybe have more control if you do this yourself. Like for example, if you import these paths separately and then you animate them separately, you can do that as well. And you'll probably get a better result than I did right here. Um, but once you're done, you can basically hit export. You have a bunch of options. You can export frames as SVG. Uh, then you can export as XMLs with these two options. And finally, as an SVG sprite sheet. So as an SVG sprite sheet, you're basically getting a folder that contains two other folders with 30 FPS and 60 FPS. And for these, you basically have a CSS, HTML, and an SVG. And if we open this in a browser, you'll see how the animation works. Now, of course, you can take this HTML, that piece of markup, you can take the CSS along with it and apply it uh, to your own project. And that's a very quick look at Shapeshifter. Hope you found this video useful. I'm Adi Purdila, and until next time, take care.